Hello everyone and welcome to SGR Focus Training. For today's lesson, we will be looking at the introduction to OET reading. Let's begin. The OET Reading Overview. The OET Reading Subtest is the same for all healthcare professionals. It is designed to test not only the specific skills required when working in a healthcare context, but also the understanding of the functions that the different texts serve. There are three distinct parts. You have reading part A, part B, and part C. Candidates are given 15 minutes to complete part A, and the papers are collected afterwards. A further 45 minutes is given for parts B and C, which are contained in a separate booklet. The test requires that you practice different reading skills. This include the skill of scanning and locating information very quickly, the skill of transferring information accurately, understanding the purpose, the function, the meaning and the gist of the written text, as well as the understanding of attitudes and opinions of the writer and inferring meaning. For the full test, you will need to accurately understand different complex language. The test has a total of 42 questions. The reading test is marked as follows. Reading part A contains 20 points. Reading part B contains six points and reading part C, 16 points. You need to aim to achieve no less than 30 points out of 42 in order to reach a grade B. Let's have a look at reading part A. During the test, you will be instructed to look at the four texts, text A, B, C, and D, and also to answer 20 questions regarding these texts. Your answers must be written in the question paper. And all of these questions, as well as reading the four texts, should be answered within the 15 minute time limit. Always remember that your answers should have correct spelling. The four texts, text A, B, C, and D, will need to be read very, very quickly, and you'll need to understand what each topics are giving given within each text. Always remember that one text contains visual. This could be a graph, a table, or a flowchart. Once you have understood the text, you'll now need to go into the first part of your questions. This is the matching questions. These are typically anywhere between five to seven questions. For each question, you'll need to decide whether text A, B, C, or D is the right answer. You are allowed to use more than, uh, you are allowed to use uh, any letter more than once. This could be followed by short answer question and then a sentence completion question. Remember that these two types of questions can interchange on the day. On one test, you could probably be asked to answer the short answer question first, followed by sentence completion. On another test, it could be sentence completion first, followed by short answer questions. The strategies though are exactly the same. We'll need to understand what the question is looking for in order for us to find out which text can we find the right answer. Once we are able to locate the text, we then go and look and scan for our correct answer. This same strategy works for sentence completion. We look at our keywords, find the correct text, and then answer our questions. For reading parts B and C, remember that you have 45 minutes to complete both of them. In reading part B, you will read six different extracts, and these six different extracts should be roughly about uh, two minutes each or a total of 10 to 12 minutes to complete. The reason for this is you want to leave yourself enough time in order to complete the more challenging 
reading part C. In reading part C, you will be asked or tasked to read two long extracts. These documents typically will include five to seven paragraphs and they are about 800 words long. For each text, there will be eight questions. So together, part C contains 16 questions. Each question can be answered by multiple choice answer options A, B, C, or D. In reading part C, you will have various different types of questions. Hence, it is a good idea or it is very important that you use various different types of strategies for this test. Remember that just like part B, you should allow roughly two minutes per question or around about 12 to 15 minutes if you can to finish the full text. This gives you hopefully enough time to go back and review any challenging questions or any questions that you were not really quite sure earlier. Reading part B is much easier to answer compared to reading part C because the test is within the same page. You will have question prompt at the top, your answer options A, B, and C in the middle, and your short text at the bottom, which contains roughly 90 to 140 words. Your job is to pick and choose the right answer by highlighting or shading the correct multiple choice option. For part C, your texts are written in two separate pages, while your questions are on another two separate pages. This makes reading part C slightly more challenging to answer because the text, the questions, and the answer options are on different pages. The way that you work on it or you answer the questions is pretty similar to part B though. You also have a question prompt at the top, your answer options in the middle. This time around, we have an extra multiple choice option, which is option D. And then on another page, you will try and locate the text corresponding to your question. Your job is still exactly the same, in which you need to highlight or shade the correct answer using your option A, B, C, or D. In summary, always remember that the reading part test, uh, the reading subtest, is the second part of your OET exam. It's divided into three unique parts parts A, parts B, and part C for a total of 42 questions. And you need to answer all of these questions within 60 minutes or one hour. The test is structured into starting with part A first, which contains four texts. You'll then need to answer 20 questions within 15 minutes. Part A tests your fast reading skills, your skimming, and your scanning skills. There will be a short break in the middle so that you can submit your paper and uh, in order for you to receive the uh, test paper for parts B and C as well. Part B contains six short texts with one question each for a total of six questions. Your part C contains two long texts, eight questions each for a total of 16 questions. Both of these tests should be uh, completed within 45 minutes. The skills being tested in part B contains, uh, you know, uh, skills for reading for gist, purpose, and detail, while the more challenging part C is um, additional reading comprehension skills. This includes understanding comprehensive text, inferring meaning, as well as identifying different points of view. For your next lesson, we will focus on reading part A. Thank you.